Hey everybody, Kristen from A Mindful Mom. As you know, I believe homemade is best, but that doesn't mean it needs to be complicated. And today, I'm gonna share with you an incredibly easy recipe for Instant Pot tuna noodle casserole, and this recipe doesn't have any canned soups. You won't believe how easy it comes together, so let's get cooking. When I say this recipe is easy, I mean easy. Just because we're not using canned condensed soups, which is filled with sodium and preservatives and sometimes even MSG, we're going to make this recipe effortlessly. It is seriously a dump and go recipe that you guys have been requesting me for time and time again. So we're gonna start by putting in four cups of low sodium chicken broth into our Instant Pot. I was hesitant to give tuna noodle casserole a try because it's a recipe that kind of haunts me from my childhood. I had to eat this every Friday during Lent and I quickly grew sick of it. Well, this recipe made me like tuna noodle casserole again. So thank you for requesting it. I'm gonna season up our broth here with about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt you can always add more after you've pressure cooked your casserole here to taste. And a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of celery seeds. That's optional, but it really does make the casserole taste more authentic, like it's been made with canned cream of celery or cream of chicken soup and it just gives it a nice bright flavor. To our liquid here, we're going to add in about 10 ounces of flaked tuna fish. I'm using albacore tuna today. You could use light tuna, I prefer albacore, and I prefer using tuna that comes in a pouch rather than cans. I just find it has a less fishy taste, but by all means, use whatever you like or whatever you have on hand. And give that a stir just to incorporate everything there. And then we're gonna add in our noodles. I have 16 ounces of these um, egg noodles here. That works perfectly in tuna noodle casserole. We're gonna pop those in. And that's it for right now. When I told you easy, I meant easy. We're just gonna layer our noodles in just so that they're in an even layer. They're not covered in broth, but they're going to steam up perfectly in the liquid as the Instant Pot comes to pressure. So we're gonna pop our lid on our Instant Pot. Make sure your venting knob is pointed towards sealed. And then to set the cooking time, you're going to hit manual or pressure cook, use the plus or minus buttons and adjust until it reads. After the cooking time has elapsed, anytime you're cooking pasta, you're going to allow for five minutes of natural pressure release. After your Instant Pot says L005, you're going to do a quick release of pressure. To do this, you want to use a long wooden spoon of some sort and slowly knock your ceiling knob to the venting position. After pressure has been released, you wanna open up your Instant Pot. And now we're gonna finish up our tuna noodle casserole so that it has its creamy, luscious consistency. So to my Instant Pot here, I'm adding in one cup of frozen peas. You could use more peas or omit the, pe omit the peas if you don't care for them. Um, but I do like the little bit of green it adds. You could also add in some canned sliced mushrooms if you like. I would add those in before pressure cooking. My picky kids say no mushrooms, so no mushrooms it is. I'm also adding in one cup of sour cream. Anytime you're using sour cream in a recipe, you wanna make sure that you use full fat or reduced fat. Not fat free as it doesn't have the same flavor. I have a third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. That takes me right back to my childhood there. And then I have about a fourth of a cup of whole milk here. You could use any fat percentage of milk you like or cream. And then we're just gonna give this a stir just to incorporate here. 
as we stir, that heat is going to be released and warm up our cheese and our cream and our sour cream here. You can add in more milk, a tablespoon at a time as needed, just to finish off your tuna noodle casserole, get it to the right consistency. But this looks perfect. The noodles look nice and soft. I told you they would plump up to perfection. That's it. We're ready to dish this out now. You can see the little bit of cheese that's melted in. And that tuna fish is nice and flaky there. I'm telling you, pouch tuna really does make a difference in the quality of taste, if you can afford it. It does cost almost double the cost of canned tuna. So use, again, what you like, what you can afford, what's what you have available to you. All right, time to go in for a taste. As I told you, this is a dish I grew to hate as a child, absolutely hate. But you guys asked me time and time again to create a tuna noodle casserole without canned soups for the Instant Pot. And well, I just had to put aside my hatred for this dish and try to recreate it, and I'm happy I did. Because I'm telling you, this, this is nothing like I remember from my childhood. It is creamy, it's delicious, it's flavored to perfection, and it's really good. So I'm gonna go in for a bite here. Mm. The noodles are so, so soft. And the sauce is creamy. It's almost like a beef stroganoff, but with tuna. And the little bit of celery, it really does, that celery seed, really does add a nice freshness to this dish. So easy, I mean, really, really easy. We just dumped and cooked. This one, this is a keeper. So much better than any tuna noodle casserole I've ever had, and I think you guys are gonna like it. Until next time, happy cooking.